fantastic result for him at the end. Showed great bottle. That's actually great to see the roller coaster of a match. Neil Robertson played some great stuff as Ding just undercuts that red. He's 6 2. Steve Davis in joint fourth. And he too is a little high. It's a pretty nervy start, isn't it? But it, And a lot on the line. For Ding, of course, he's looking for his first ranking title in the world. Tough result for Neil to take, but as you said, he was classy at the end, took the time to wish Ding. No one will want to draw him, as you say, that is a certainty. Well, you would have thought Ding had just potted the title winning ball there. In fact, it's his first pot of the final. And you've got to give him a lot of credit for the way he held himself together last season. Won the Masters, of course, for a second time. Ding does win today. He'll be moving up to sixth place ahead of Shaw as regards the one-year points. Snookered on all reds, though. It's obviously fearful of that, and that's why he just played a plain ball. Would end up. Wasn't prepared to take that gamble. <laughs> the outcome, I think Ding will feel he'll need to tighten up on his safety. Made a few errors in that regard against Neil Robertson. Left Robertson a key part today. leaps and bounds in recent seasons. He said himself after beating Jackson Page that this has been another tournament where he's not played his best snooker, but here he is once again. Yes, that's definitely been added to his game. When he first came on the scene, if he played his very best, he could win, but he wasn't at his best. He wasn't winning, but well able to, and happy to win ugly the last few years. Again, if anything, this week he's been slightly under the radar. Other players have probably played better, but as you said, here he is again in the final. And he wouldn't be at all surprised if he wins today. Oh, that's a great pop, because it was a good cue ball that Ding got, but he did leave the red, and Trump getting down and stroking it in. And I think that's part of the reason why Trump has returned to winning ways in spectacular fashion this season as he plays the snooker, his long game, very much back. Last season, perhaps, that part of his game went missing a bit, but not this season. Even that last shot was quite telling. That graphic was saying the shot I was talking about, but he actually could hit the side cushion first. Caught the no, God, please, no, no, no.
felt a miss. Joe Trump four. Could nevertheless leave Trump a chance to clinch the frame. In the meantime, Foul I miss Judge Trump four. Uh, it's another resounding long pot from no. hard to judge when you're so close to the first cushion you're going to hit. Foul and miss. Judge Trump. Six. White over to the red. Mr. Boyd, good bit the last time. Foul and miss. Judge Trump. Four. Just a fraction away, but. Yeah, it's a very good hit. Just to clinch the frame. He's already knocked in a couple of crackers from distance in this opening frame. And there's another one right in the middle. One. Twenty-seven. Result has to go for this red. One. So the space of a couple of minutes, the lead Judd had. Oh, wow. It's on, on the lip of the pocket. Wow. Judd Trump's frame for 2 0. For something easier than this pink into the middle. Poor safety shot there from Ding. You can see by his reaction. Okay, that's a couple of careless shots. He's played in this frame already. Mind you, to go to the toilet and concede. The end of a final of this length between victory and defeat. Inevitably, we're going to see plenty of big breaks as this day unfolds, as Trump plays another telling snooker himself. And that is the end of the frame. So a frustrating start for the home favourite. He's on the board, so he'll be delighted with that. A further seven to come in this first. And that's another terrific... Long pot from Trump. We've already seen a number of those in the opening two.
Great shot there from Judd. Got a power top spin. You can see the white ball arc in. The late effect. Eight to eight. Trump. Close, but not quite. No century, but 88 will do for Judd Trump, who's taking a grip on this World Open final in the early running, and Ding Junhui needs a response. Wow, what a way to clinch the frame. Fantastic pot from Ding Zhongwei. And another one. So he's going to be going into the mid-session interval. Run away with this final, but his progress checked by Ding in the fourth. Even so, Trump will be eyeing a big... First session lead, and that is one I can recall him missing Fergal from distance was right at the beginning of the fourth front of pockets off the break off. So, yeah, all in all, very questionable as to whether it's a good thing. The pretty great shot on the black, actually, put it with strong right shot required here to keep the break going. It's a pretty thinnish cut. Well, that was a <laughs> Played the double, got the treble. Swerving it around the other way. That was a good hit. Ah. To buy himself some insurance becomes all important. What a frame this would be. And a lovely shot. Again, where the brown is quite close to the blue as well, so. Cue ball. No, God, please, no! <laughs> and then it goes. Trump will be relieved. That would have been a painful frame to lose and frustration for Ding, who was eyeing a possible steal there to... And yeah, nice fluke for Ding, but not on a colour. Oh. oh no. Foul and miss. Ding Jun Hui Fo. Screw back. Yeah. One. 
some point to be looking to try and get an angle on the blue. And that was drilled into the pocket. Ding has battled well, but you do feel that he's just lacking that little bit of energy. Needs something to change the dynamics of the match. Being 8-1. Looking to go in for the... Excellent shot from Dick. Trying to see it here. Yeah, he's moved the red. Oh. Just underneath him, yeah. Yeah. Real roller coaster with Robertson for my money, the best match of the tournament. But maybe he's paying a price for that today, and Trump is doing what he's been doing. He's made six this week. Tried his best there to keep the break going. Trump, seven to eight. But 78 will do. One frame to show. And he's just sending a message to his opponent that he's going to go down fighting if he is to go down. But this time it won't. You are right, though. He didn't. He didn't play all that well. Whether that was any kind of a uh, react. Huh. Pressure in the final, and he's a proven winner. Of course, he's not like he's going to be sort of sweating about the finish. I'd have to play into them. Yeah. Let's see it again. Still disturbances. And then, as I say, nearly snookered him behind the green, but it didn't happen as the cue ball goes on a little tour here. I think he tried to get the pink out into play there, oh, which is about the only thing he's done wrong in this break. He's not able to achieve that. Well, he's done it now. <laughs> what a shot. Well, that's, uh, I know it's end of frame, but that's one of the great shots you'll see all season. Any suggestion that the butterflies might overwhelm him and been completely dispelled. He's making a dash for the winning line in style. The black for a total clearance of 130, Judd Trump. Well, after the reds could go everywhere. And that's always the thing that can happen. Or the more chance of red going in because the red split better. Or it's clear this time. To show that you're not going to lie down. And that's what he's done here. At times, obviously, they have been have to be told to calm down, but it's brilliant to see. And that is all. Previous frame where he knocked a red. It's a really good split. He hit the 
pink square on, and the reds have gone everywhere, most of them in open play. Judd Trump was born in... As far as the home nations, they're all good, but that's the one that's been going the longest. One. But he took the week off. I thought he was almost a better player yesterday against Ding. Just couldn't quite get the result. Now, with touching ball, he can play directly away from a red. I think touching ball was called, yeah. I sometimes try to get a little greedy, if you like, on that shot. And Recovery shot to middle required here. Frustration. Almost an escape route, but he didn't he play it well? It was like a bit of a miracle comeback. He did, of course, win the pre interval frame. He was 7 2 down coming into tonight. Trump's had two centuries already in this session. But that is an absolute. What a beautiful shot. One. Of course, he won it in 2019. Point four. But it got it sorted out quickly. better he's got to get more elevation yeah oh hang on well it looked for a minute those kisses might have been good until he went in off poised for the third time in his career to have won at least five ranking titles in us because of uh, the chance of person who's in front just putting the balls over the pockets or in the pockets in this case yeah that's it now Judd Trump's brilliant season continues here in Yushan he wins his fifth ranking title of a campaign that is not yet over